Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm picking up where I left off in my UCS video. So I have my bathroom enlargement file open and I have nothing on there except for my furniture layout plan as an XREF. And what I want to do is crop around this space right here, which is my bathroom, so I can set up my file and start projecting the internal elevations of this space. So I'll start by drawing a rectangle on the internal walls of the bathroom and I'll offset that by 500. Then I'll delete this one and I'll type in XT to select my X clip command and I'll select the object I want to crop, enter, then new boundary or N. Then I'll type in S for select polyline and I'll select the rectangle that I just drew. So this is how you crop in XREF. Now this symbol right here is the leader of my room tag, which I don't need to be showing here. So I'll just go to the snowflake icon right here and I'll turn that layer off. Now I'm going to offset this rectangle again, this time by 1000. And the space between those two rectangles is where my annotation will go. Now I'll offset this again by 1500. And this line will represent the bottom line of each one of my elevations. I'll offset again, this time by the value of the height of my space. For example, here I know that the height of my space is 3 meters. So I'm going to offset this by 3000 mil. Now I'm going to draw construction lines that go along the inside walls of my space. And now I'm going to draw rectangles within the space that became defined by those two large rectangles and those construction lines. So I'll type in REC and then draw a rectangle here, another one here, another one here, one last one here. Now I can delete my construction lines and delete those two rectangles. And now each one of those rectangles represents the boundaries of each one of my internal elevations. So I'll offset each one of those by 1000. Now I'll select each one of my outer rectangles as well as the outer rectangle for my plan and I'll place those on depth points. And before I start drawing, I'm just going to add break lines to this cropped plan so it's presented correctly. I'll go to Express Tools, select Break Line Symbol and before I click anywhere, I'm going to hit the S key on my keyboard then the space bar just to make sure that my symbol size is 100 and I'll hit Enter. I'll specify my first point, then my second point, and I'll go to the midpoint to specify where my break symbol is. I'll do the same again here and here. I don't need to do it here because this is already an outer wall and nothing is cropped on this end. Now I'll select this rectangle again and I'll offset it by 200 so I can extend my break lines like that. Now my file is ready and I can actually start drawing. I'll add the sanitary fixtures to my plan like this and I'll use X lines to start projecting my elevations. So if I'm starting with this one in this rectangle right here, I'll draw X lines to project the door. And now I can add the details of this elevation like this. Then I'll click my UCS drop down and I'll select my next orientation. Type in plan then C. If you missed how I set this up, please check my user coordinate system video. And now I'll add in the details of this elevation. Next orientation, UCS2, plan C. Here I'm going to use X lines in the center of each fixture so I can place it correctly on the elevation. And this elevation should look like this. As you can see, my fixtures are perfectly aligned with my plan, so I can delete those construction lines. And finally, I'll go to my last orientation and I'll draw this elevation right here. Double scroll, this is what my file looks like now. And before I wrap up, I'd like to show you why it's important to work on the proper UCS when you're annotating your elevation. So if I go to my first one right here, let's say for example, I want to add a dimension showing the height of this lighting switch. This is showing correctly exactly how I specified in my dimension styles video. However, if I move to this elevation right here and I try adding another dimension, it may look okay if I'm looking at it in this orientation, but then if I move to the correct one, and then I zoom in, I add a new dimension right now. You see the difference? This is the correct presentation, this is incorrect. The importance of working on the correct UCS is going to show even more in my next video when I start creating views for each of those drawings so I can add them onto a sheet in my sheet set. Thank you for watching.